Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for mid-February 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And because it's general, that means it's not going to resonate for all of you. That is perfectly okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box. All right, let's see, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of February in love. And do keep in mind that because this reading is general, the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, Cancer. Four of Cups crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's feeling some disappointment here or possibly even... Um, it could even be an energy of settling for some of you or just feeling ignored, but it feels like the challenge here is somebody just not feeling, um, not feeling very independent, not feeling very self-reliant, possibly even a self-worth worth issue. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see for you. We have the world, the king of, the, sorry, the knight of cups and the queen of pentacles. There's a completion of a cycle here. There's something that you're feeling is done, especially concerning somebody, somebody, either somebody else coming in towards you or you moving towards that person. And again, I feel like this is relating to a sense of self-worth. We'll see. For them, we have the emperor, the hermit, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so we do have Aries and Virgo showing up on their side. So some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo. D definitely does not have to be. Um, wow, this person... I feel like this person is kind of holding back to their own self. But there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of concern. There could be fears. However, I feel like on the surface, it looks like everything is okay. Like this person looks like they have everything under control, but below the surface, no, this person is feeling alone or just going really deep within or withdrawing their energy just overall. And just overanalyzing and thinking a lot. See, potential outcome here, we have justice. All right, Libra energy. Okay, so a major decision um, or things coming into some kind of a balance. Something working out, I feel, in your favor. Let's see. Let's clarify. What is going on here? So let's see that Four of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, wow. Okay, so this is definitely a connection where there is a lot of emotions, there is a lot of love, but there's also a lot of conflict. All right, so if, if you're in a connection with somebody where you feel like it's like really fresh or there is no love, um, this is probably not going to be your reading, okay? I can tell you that from now. Um, yeah, because getting the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups in the same combination here, that's pretty strong. But again, it feels like because somebody was feeling um, less than or, or not deserving or just... There, I, there may have been an issue with one person being more attached than the other. And this is what has created conflict. for whatever reason. So for example, I mean, it could even be that because one person is feeling more attached, right? Um, it's like the other person may have taken them for granted and so that person is left feeling disappointed. Let's see the world in your energy. 
the Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Wow. You're closing something out here. You're moving away from something. You're moving away from this conflict. And I feel like you're really taking charge here. You're really taking charge, finding your, your own sense of stability, um, being very determined, to just taking control over your own self and closing some kind of a some kind of a door here. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the ending of this relationship, but it's definitely the ending of some cycle of something that's been playing out. For a small group of you, it could be that you were dealing with two people and you're and that may also have been creating some conflict and you're just like ending the cycle of that. Let's see the Knight of Cups. Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles showing up again. A lot of pentacles here, um, a lot of court cards. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are even dealing with an earth sign, if there's an earth sign just involved somehow in this whole situation. Someone, I feel like there was somebody who was approaching you here or you were approaching someone. And this is part of what you're, you're closing out. It's like you're... And you're communicating this. And again, I feel like it has to do with your sense of self-worth. I feel like you're feeling like you deserve something more than whatever this situation was. And so you're communicating this. And so you're either done chasing, right? Or, or you're done trying to get somebody to come after you as this Knight of Cups. Almost like being reliant on that Knight of Cups. And it's like now there's this, no, seeing, seeing something in a different way, seeing something in a different, from a different perspective where it's like you're, you're seeing yourself as being more deserving than whatever that was that was happening here. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, there's so many court cards. I wouldn't be surprised if then with that Five of Wands, if there's a lot of people involved here in this situation. And the Knight of Pentacles. You're finding your path is what you're doing here. You're finding a lot of confidence. I feel like you have like a newfound confidence or a newfound sense of self-respect. And because of that, you're, it's like you're taking a different path, a path that is more stable for you. And it's like you're trusting, it's like you're trusting your own self on this path and that it's moving you towards justice, which it is. And I feel like it's a it's it's a pretty complicated situation here with, with so many energies involved. Um, I feel like there's been influence from the outside for a lot of you. Let's see what's going on with this person here. So let's see this emperor. <laughs> They're the Knight of Cups. So I don't know if this is somebody who just appears um, like they are, like I said, like they have everything under control and that, I don't know if they're, if they're charming or just acting like they have, um, I feel like they're very charismatic and possibly it might appear like they either have like other, other options maybe for some of them or, you know, that they're just... wanted they're wanted they're like they appear to be like high value or they present themselves in that way but they're wanted by by many others but 
that again that I feel like that's just a front. So let's see the hermit. The five of swords, the page of wands, and the emperor. Yeah, see that this the way that they're presenting themselves as this emperor, there's something deceptive about that with the five of swords. Um, there's some immaturity hiding underneath that. And it's like really they're just, what they're really feeling inside is that they're just this page, not really that emperor. And something is happening here. I feel like it's your attitude, your energy that's throwing them in this hermit energy where they're being forced to look deeper into their own self. For some of you, there may have been some kind of a betrayal here, but it's interesting because like I said, there are a lot of emotions on both sides. There is a lot, there is love here. There is love here. But I feel like, you know, it's like somehow, um, somehow things like, like the connection just kind of lost its way. And I feel like a big part of that is your sense of self-worth, which as I said, is now beginning to show up. Alright, so let's see, for the Eight of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person is like overanalyzing things a lot. Um, they're not showing it though. See, there's that Seven of Swords. Like, they have a lot of like deceptive kind of energies here, right? With the Five of Swords as well. Um, the Hermit, you know, kind of hiding this. There's a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing on this person's side. They're not showing it though, but they're in a lot, they're in a state of panic is what I'm getting. Even with the Knight of Wands, like a lot of frustration, really not knowing which way to go, what to do. I do see them possibly taking some action towards you here with the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Um, but I feel like it's coming in again with like, they're not feeling very secure, even if they are presenting themselves in that way. They're not feeling very secure within their own self. I feel like they just really don't know what to do about this. So I'm not seeing more of like how this is turning out, actually. Um, for now, at least. I see them mostly holding on to themselves, possibly coming forward, but still not being 100% honest about their true feelings. But there is justice here as the potential outcome. So let's see what that is about. Let's see justice. The moon, the nine of wands, and the nine of pentacles, okay. Which was the first card, well, part of the first set of cards here as the challenge. So that's actually a very positive sign here. I feel like, yes, again, it's it all has to do with you detaching, I feel. Um, you're detaching from like a cycle, all right, with that moon. You're detaching from this vicious cycle that was like you were being taken for granted very likely um, and it was a difficult cycle and it may have repeated itself and um, that's also Pisces Pisces energy showing up here and I feel like because of this like whatever whatever this is leading up to it's bringing some kind of balance or something is being balanced in terms of karma between the two of you so it's like it's like justice is being served, but without that meaning that, oh, you know, this person is being punished necessarily. It's just there's cause and effect. And once that effect takes place, it's like there's this equilibrium. There's this balance that then um, takes place. And once that happens, you know, then, then that leaves room for a new potential, either within the same connection or for something else. So that's going to be up to you. All right, Cancer, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. 
And we have Uncovering Treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Okay, so I do see, I do get with this message here that, because like I'm saying, beneath the surface, right? Like on the surface, this person is possibly seems very arrogant or just like they have everything under control or like, you know, everything is cool. Um, or possibly that, you know, they're distant or whatever. Underneath that, there is love. It's just a matter of, I feel like it's up to them to actually uncover that within their own self and do the work that they need to do if they want to have you back. Because it's like at the moment, you know that they don't deserve you. And that's true at the moment. So it's like if this person can go beneath the surface, then that might open up um, a new potential here, okay, for some of you at least. And for others, you know, this could definitely be about your own self, right? Discovering that great treasure through having discovered your own sense of self-worth. And that can bring in a treasure for you. So yeah, take that as it resonates. And that is it, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching and much love.